So this is the financial district. Okay, I feel like I've stumbled into the days of our lives here. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby too. Can I help you with anything? Perhaps you could talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I'm certain that she has a good reason. I'd like to hear both sides. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. What are the chances that your child will develop the heart condition? According to the doctors, there's a 1 in 50 chance. And if my baby develops the condition, medical treatments are available. Which are nowhere near as effective as simply getting the gene therapy. So 2% chance of, heart, or of a heart problem. What are the chances that gene therapy could hurt the baby? 1 in 300 at most. But extranet articles say there could still be long-term complications we don't know about. Don't you understand? If my baby is that one in 300, I will always wonder if I... If, if I killed my baby for nothing. I mean, ultimately it doesn't really matter what the hell I think or what the hell this dude thinks. It's her baby and it's her choice. This does seem a bit kind of like a, like the uh, vaccines cause autism debate that's currently raging. And if she's listening to Fox News, I wouldn't recommend getting her news from that source. But it really is her choice no matter what, so... It's Rebecca's child, Michael. I think you should honor her decision. Damn it, she's not choosing. She's acting blindly out of grief. I know you want the best for your brother's child, but this isn't your decision. Of course it is. I'm the closest thing to a father this baby is going to have. Okay, no. Is this about keeping the baby safe, or is this about you losing your last link to your brother? This baby is the only thing my brother... It's all I have left of him. I need to know that the baby's safe. It's all I have left too, Michael. I just want Jacob's child to be safe. I want to give him that much. You will. I promise. Okay, cooler heads prevailed. I appreciate it. All right, that worked out nicely. So yeah, there's still the uh, the one merchant over here that might have stuff for us. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? What exactly do you sell? Only the finest and most luxurious items that credits can buy. That makes sense. We are on the Presidium. This one is able to procure all... Oh, this one is pleased to do so. Check the upgrades. Combat scanner. Don't really care. Grenade upgrade. Actually do care. Hammerhead rounds. High explosives. Improved sighting. Weapons force. Would be pretty great. I'm not sure what sure what force does. I think it just means like you can have a chance of knocking a target down, maybe. But I'm looking for actual damage increases, and that's not bad. 22% damage. What's my current upgrade setting at? 13% damage. Let's see what you got. Oh, this one. High explosive, it's only 13,000, but I've only got 68,000. It's probably not worth it right now. What else you got? Commander. Oh, this Just out of curiosity. This actually would be pretty sweet armor, and it's N7 grade. We can dress up Garrus. If I, I, gotta stop bring, I gotta start bringing him on these missions when I start outfitting people with armor, but... 
Commander. Oh, this one. The Onyx the Onyx armor is the uh the what's it? The official N7 stuff, but five thousand dollars for that license? God damn. All right, armor. Yeah, we can, we can look this up. I need light armor. God, why is it all so shitty? God damn. Okay, the last place to check out is the embassies, because that's where Captain Anderson's office would be. It's not an active quest, but I still think maybe I can ask about this uh, Bane's dude. And we know for a fact that loading is going to be faster than walking there, so let's do it. Look at that. Look how quick that was. Alright. Where in the hell is Captain Anderson? I want to say it's his office over here. Yep, there they are. And we'll take a look at the nav manual. Why not? I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau cluster. The Council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Council's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. You know, that ruin was coming down no matter what, right? What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. The people I spoke with seem to think he was still alive. It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. Oh great, he's Black Ops. On a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. What can you tell me about the sh I don't know much about it. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. I gotta go back to Ka Kamehameha? Is there anything else, Commander? I should yeah, that's about it. God damn, there's so much walking around. How about you guys? Are you doing anything interesting? Surprise, welcome. Nope, nothing going on. See your farewell. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. I get the feeling he doesn't get a whole lot of visitors, so who just seem to hang out in there? I really need a theme song. Okay, Citadel Tower. Why is he gone? C Captain Cage match, you out here? There's Emily Wong again. Huh, it's weird. He's gone. Hello again, Commander. I've got a proposition for you. Since you helped me get information on the crime syndicate, I've gotten a lot more backing from my publishers. I'm investigating traffic controller conditions now, and I wondered if you could help. Seriously? That seems like a step down from wide scale corruption. Actually, in a way, it's more important. This isn't about people getting rich. This is about safety. I've heard rumors that the space traffic controllers are overworked to a dangerous degree. I can't get into the control room, but you could. If you planted a bug inside, I could crack the story. What will this bug allow you to pick up? Just audio and video. I'm not trying to tap into the traffic control system if that's what you're worried about. I just need to hear and see them in order to correlate their activity with traffic efficiency. This bug you want me to plant? Could it interfere with traffic signals? Absolutely not. I made certain that the frequencies it uses won't interfere with anything. Everyone knows space traffic controllers are overworked. How is this news? 
There's a difference between overworked and dangerous. Traffic at the Citadel has increased by 300% in the last century, but traffic controller resources haven't kept up. We already have several last-minute wave-offs per week. <laughs> Do we have to wait for a full-blown disaster? I can't promise anything, but I'll see what I can do. Give me the... Excellent. Just place it on a terminal with a good view of the area. Thanks again for your help. In the long run, this story is going to save lives. I wonder why April Co... 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 Co Copacabana is not there. Like, he should be there. Also, who the hell is Garoth? He's okay. I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. Maybe I can help. Mm, maybe you can. You're a soldier, right? You ever head out to the Traverse? I'm not just some soldier. I'm a Spectre. A Spectre? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure, or they were attacked. Any idea why someone would attack them? Privateers, slavers, mercs looking for an easy score. There's a lot of nasty sorts out in the Traverse. I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. If your brother's still alive, I'll find him. Give me the coordinates. I'll forward them to your ship right away. I would love to have one of those things. As soon as you find him. Okay, so we got a couple missions here. Thankfully, one we can do right here on the Citadel, so we're going to focus on that. And then hopefully when we come back to talk to Emily, Admiral... God, I'm running out of things to call him. We'll still be there. Uh, hang on, maybe I should figure out where I'm going with this one. Planting a bug. Traffic control near the back of CSEC. Uh, CSEC's in the wards. Alright, where are we going? CSEC is this way. Leave uh, traffic control is that big room near the back. Boy, it sure was good I was able to get all the way through here. Why is this a thing? Hello, oh, it's nothing. Okay, good. And how 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 is that weapon smuggling business going? Good to see you, Commander. It's not. Okay, never mind. Like, the way that it works in the RPG is that you basically help everybody with their problems, but the way it comes off in-game is like, you're just like that kind of guy who needs everyone to know who they are. Okay, the bug is planted. I think. Did I? Where the hell does the elevator even go? I think I planted the bug. Oh, there's a good place to plant the bug. Journal says, go back to Emily. Watch it be like, oh my god, everything's crashing. Who could possibly have done this? Every single car is dropping out of the sky. Why did we invent flying cars in the first place? We were asking for this to happen. I swear to God, the second we invent flying cars, there's going to be, like, flying metal at all times. It's going to be the worst thing in the world. But at the same time, I desperately want one. Is that weird? Alright, back to the Citadel Tower. Sup, Emily? I'm already getting readings. This is going to make a great story. Thank you so much for your help. Here, this is everything I've got from my publisher's budget. It was no problem. Good luck with your story. It deserves to be heard. I appreciate your support. I hope this will save some lives in the long run. Thanks again for your help. I'm going to show this to my publisher. 
and a level and Admiral Coco Cabana is nowhere to be found. I think I, I think I used that one already. All right, well, I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm going to uh, warp somewhere, look around for a bit, come back and see if maybe he respawns. Maybe Emily being there threw it off somehow. Oh shit, things are happening. Um, what the fuck? It's not Moreland, is it? Yeah, what is it? Why were you tossed out of there? Thorin didn't have a clue what I was doing. He assumed I was cheating. But you were cheating, were you not? I was just tipping the scales in my favor, only as an experiment. <laughs> really? It still sounds like cheating to me. To you, maybe. But this device is merely intended to simulate situations and record results. Recording losses is easy, of course. Nobody notices those. Why do you need to record these outcomes? Ah, now you're getting to the heart of it. I've spent the last five years developing a system that can accurately predict wins and losses on the Quasar. I just need a few more recorded wins and I can complete the algorithms. Can you do that? Isn't that illegal? It's illegal to use my system, but I won't use it. I'll sell it to others. That's a one. That's one hell of a distinction. Does the device help me win? The device is set to emit a frequency that will slightly increase your odds. Nothing like my system eventually will, but enough to allow you to record your wins more quickly. Why don't you just sell the device then? What? No. This device is archaic. It uses brute force to achieve its goal. Besides, you saw how easily it was detected. My system, when it's complete, will be far more efficient and completely undetectable. Yeah, as cool as it would be to develop such a device, like just for the sake of science, it's gonna be completely illegal. I think I'll take my chances the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Take yourself. Well, I have some calculations to do. Goodbye. Out of curiosity. Yeah, he's gonna be there as a permanent option for a quest, but kind of feels like it's a renegade thing to do. Jenna came back looking for work. Thanks for getting her out of Cora's den. I was glad to help out. Yeah, everyone seems real happy to have her back. I sense that you are less than pleased with her return. I'm glad she's out of the Oh, den. great. I've got my I own counselor, Troy. I'd like to have her around. I haven't had a decent tip since she got back. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen when you bring somebody who's a lot nicer than you are. Can I dance? Is that a thing? Turns out, no, I can't dance. I can shuffle. I'm waiting for someone else. Hey there, welcome to class. Do you not recognize me? I'll be right over. I guess not. We're not playing Quasar again. No, we're done. Thank you. No. You know what? Considering that it's going to be an active quest unless I do something about it, I'm just going to do this. Change your mind? You can help me record. You I just need a few more wins recorded. Keep your winnings. That should be payment enough, I think. I'll help you out. Ah. Here you go. Of course, if you get caught, well, off you go. Just out of curiosity. Uh, use the machines at least five times, don't get caught. I mean, it's for science, right? That's why we're doing this. And I'll play on the low stakes machine, so I'm not winning too much money. That's, that's how I'll justify this. I'm going to have to play five times, as I can said. And all I have to do is win. I don't have to actually make any money. Wow, this thing is really taking its time. Seriously? Uh, 
I think it's one more and we're done. Someone getting as lucky as you. Too many paying attention. Did I get enough? Yeah, use them at least five times. We'll switch machines, maybe that'll help. Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? Are you the owner? Owner, cook. We've got some quasar stations. Uh, if you're interested. Oh, I didn't know that you a lot to do this. I've got something you might be interested in. Let me see that. You got that from Shells, didn't you? I saw him using it earlier. Tossed him out on his ass for it, too. Uh, thanks for bringing this to me. Cheaters shouldn't prosper. I agree with you on that. Thanks again. Uh, take a few shots at the Quasar on the house. I should be going. Enjoy your time here at Flux. No, oh, he paid me for it. Let's try one round of high stakes Quasar. I think my odds are better. No, my odds are better here. I broke even. I will take it. All right. And now let's go back to talk to Shells and try to explain to him why I handed over his cheating tools to people he was trying to cheat out of money. So, did you record five wounds with the device yet? I sure did. Actually, I gave your device to Doran. But that was years of work. What am I going to do now? Get a job. Yeah, perfect. You're no help at all. This is absolutely the worst day of my life. Okay, so yeah, that should be all of it. Alright, one last trip over to the Citadel Tower to see if Captain Kangaroo is still there. No, he's still gone. Where the hell would he be? Maybe it's not time for me to actually unlock that quest yet. That that could explain it. Oh shit. Nope. I hit the wrong button. Uh, where is the fast travel button? Okay, yeah. I fucked this up just a little bit. Or is it more than anywhere near me? Oh, it's immediately in front of me. Good god. Okay, we're going to CSEC and we can take that elevator up to the docking port. Alright, overall it was a fairly fruitful trip to the Citadel. We stopped some blackmail, we saved it. Later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. So yeah, we uh, talked somebody down out of suicide. We uncovered some uh, blackmailing at the medical clinic. We gave Conrad his picture and an autograph. Uh, what else did we do here? That cheating device. We gave that one woman the chance to go my baby, my choice. Uh, what else did we do? We bought myself that sweet new gun. That was nice. All right. So, we might as well go to Novaria because we put it off to pick up uh, Liara and now that we have her. Stand by, shore party. There's no reason not to. Contamination in progress. Also, I kind of like her in the black outfit. It kind of gives me like more vibes. Officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. More into the character of Mass Effect 2, if you weren't aware. 
We'll meet her later. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. She shouldn't have ambushed you like that. But you handled it pretty well. We had differences of opinion, sir. I hope she at least believed my sincerity. You handled yourself pretty well, Commander. She came across like a raving idiot. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. Yay. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth fleet out. I gotta know, is that uh, Lance Hendrickson? I'll try to look that up while I'm navigating. Alright, we are going to Novaria in the Horsehead Nebula. Lance Hendrickson's IMDb page. It's would have been around 2003, 2006, when this game would have been. Check that filmography. 245, damn, man. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. Well, there he is. It's a group an Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. This would have been a lot more effective if it, if it wasn't just a completely audio-only message. Alright, well, we're gonna go to Novaria first, and then we'll deal with that after. I'm sure Cerberus isn't nearly the grand threat he's making him out to be. In fact, I bet we'll never hear about them again. Out of curiosity, the uh, assignment for Cerberus, the Yangzi system in the Voyager cluster, the privateers are in the. Oh, Horse and Nebula, we can find them right after this. Great. Alright, time to go take down an Asari matriarch. Let's bring her daughter along, I'm sure that's gonna go over swimmingly. So, yeah, we're definitely bringing Liara, because that just seems like fun. And. Eh. Let's bring Gareth. I feel like maybe he might appreciate the chance to uh, spend some more time with the R. They seem like they work well together, I think. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hey, I'm back. Just took a bit of a week off to go handle some other stuff. Did you miss me? I know you missed me. So yeah, we've already gone through the intro cutscene here with uh, I'm Kara Thrace here, at least the wannabe version. I apologize. For I have a responsibility to protect the safety and privacy of the corporation. No harm was done. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? Very no, good, Commander. we're done. We're good. Please stay out of trouble. Paragon points, why not? Okay, now we're back. Alright, just a quick refresher here on the mission. 
We talked to Administrator and uh, Enerlaeus to talk about finding Matriarch Venezia. She's at Peak 15, the remote research complex. Yeah, I've never really gotten along with managers in general. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Not really, I was here a week ago. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. Well, they just need to get to know me better. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Yes, that is entirely smuggling. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I'm supposed to uphold the law, not break it. This one understands. The offer shall remain open. Could I buy something? Of else? course. This one apologizes. All right. Armor upgrades, not bad. I'd like to not have to close the entire conversation when I just want to switch out between different of types of items to buy. Alright. Uh, materials license, yes. Metagel upgrade. Eh, seven's not bad, actually. I haven't really come to a point where I need to get more of it. Uh, armor, actually, might be nice. Better damage protection. Slightly less shields, more biotic protection. And it's only 23,000. Hmm. Uh, and the edge pistol, not nearly as good. You know what? Let's buy it. Just because it is, it, is it is an upgrade. Can I, can I actually... Okay, no, I did buy. Alright. So, let's equip it. Nice, a little more neutral color scheme. I don't so much mind it. Uh, hey, Liara, you can wear human armors, right? There. Maybe later. Of course. And now we can sell what we picked up. In the meantime, the pistol is not nearly as good. We don't need the managel upgrade. Of course. Just out of curiosity, we do have Gareth in the party. Eh. 13, 120, 14. Can, can he even wear medium armor? I don't even think he can. Because he needs more damage protection for real. Just curious, can you wear medium armor, Gareth? It's under you? Yeah. Uh, tactical armor. Yeah, he can equip medium armor. I know I said earlier that I wasn't going to buy non-human uh, armor, but to be perfectly fair, he is so weak. We need something that's going to be a little bit stronger if he's going to last in a fight. Okay, now we equip him. Slightly less by eye protection, but this more than makes up for it. Uh, I'm not liking the gray color scheme, but there isn't a whole lot else I can do about it. Of course. This sell this because it's only worth a hundred and fifty bucks. And yeah, we are all set to go here. Everyone's the, everyone's upgraded. Quick save because I don't know when I'm gonna just get shot at. I'm on duty, Inspector. I shouldn't be talking. You'll talk to me whenever I want you to. I work for like er, I work for like the supreme authority here. The managers warned us about you from back there. All right. This area seems very wide open, but there doesn't appear to be a whole lot actually going on down here. Like, why would this entire area need to exist? 
Where does this go? Do I have a map? Okay, yeah, we are going to the administration office. We're, we're, we're going in the right direction. How can I help you? I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Thank you. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain colonial rubes. I see you looked up my service record. Only a fool enters negotiation without knowledge of the other party's tendencies. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Fair enough. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. You know what? I'm not going to narc on that guy, quite honestly. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Oh, good. Commander, you didn't think that odd. They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. The hell is that? Oh, it's a gun turret. I see. That makes sense. You want to have some sort of protection for yourself. Having said that, this dude was very much unhelpful. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a path to lead them, Jen. Is you that right? Worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't legend through bureaucracy. I was fairly so polite. I, I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. I'm not gonna try to grill her for more information when she just said she can't talk further. These are cool little desks. I'd probably get one of those if I could afford it. Seems a little more comfortable. You need to lean back and still be at like optimal positioning for your monitor. The chair I've got right now, if I lean back too far, I can't even touch the keyboard. Alright, where's that bar? Dear God, why would you lay, lay this out like this? It's obscene. Alright, uh, Synthetic Insights, Hotel, Docking Bay. I'm going to assume the garage is not where the bar is located. God, I hate this place. Sure hope this is where the bar is. You know what, I'm gonna go over there first, just in case. If I'm wrong and the elevator takes me somewhere else I don't want to be, it's gonna be a long time to get back. Oh, no, that's completely dead end. And this is also nothing, so yeah. It's either the garage or the synthetic insights. You guys gonna talk at all? But only at the Citadel. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot that this isn't Tally. Uh, I keep mixing up Liara and Tally. They're both kind of like the uh, tech slash computer, or yeah, uh, tech slash computer and biotic specialist separately. So I keep mixing them up. Excuse me, I need a moment of your time. The male human at the hotel bar. He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? 
Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your... my real intentions. He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about binary helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. That's super illegal. Think this uniform's just for show? My job is to enforce the law, not break it. Do you think that Binary Helix obeys all the laws? That they do not spy on other companies? What they might be doing somewhere else doesn't justify my acting against them here. Very well, Spectre. I'll be on my way. Yeah, that's not my style. Hey, Lorik. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeus closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense Funny how that works. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeus' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeus would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. That sounds good to me. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? Close enough. Violence against Mr. Analeus' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If I have to kill the guards, I'm afraid I can't help you. There's still the law around here. True enough. Though I hasten to point out that Ms. Matsuo disapproves of outside contracting. If you change your mind, I will... Alright, so... We need to recover the garage pass. Here. I see no other options at present. I'm trying to think of how we would do this. 